Say God. Say God that healed grandma. Can heal mama. Say God that brought you through the hospital. Can still keep you. Say God that heal you. Can protect you. Say God that give you a home. Praise the Lord. In a rental place. Can give you a home. Morgan Street. Come on up. try to get as much of them as I can because right. I'm not a mother. That's all right. Back pain. Swollen feet. Nine months. Swollen feet. Folding the clothes with the swollen feet. Walking around like the penguin. Going to Walmart and back. Carrying that baby. Uh, sleepless nights. Uh, some illness come upon you that shouldn't have been there but it's because of the baby. Oh, the doctor said something might happen to you. Uh, maybe the baby or maybe you. You started to trust God with that. And you carry that baby for nine months. Sometimes you wonder how you going to do it. But you just keep on doing it. Because you love that child. Nine months you've been carrying that baby. Your body start to act up. Pain all over. Head pain. Sometimes you get mad with your husband and he didn't even do anything. It's just because of the baby. The baby punching you from the left, knocking you from the right. You're trying to get your rest, but the baby keep turning around in the bed. And you look over at the husband and he's still sleeping. But you got to be up with that baby. And you say, why he can't carry the baby for at least a month to know what I'm feeling? And why do I have to look like this? marks in places. I used to look good, yeah. but look at these stretch marks on me. Yeah. This baby is stretching me places. I can't even go to the gym like I used to. What's going on with me? I wonder if I'm still going to look good when this is over. Oh my gosh, the doctor said I might have to get a C-section. Oh, maybe it's not a C-section, maybe it's a B-section. I don't know what kind of section it is, but I'm going to have to get caught off here. Now I'm trapped by What's going on? But I'm still carrying this baby. And I'm still birthed this baby. But after you birth the baby, and the baby you began to feed him, what the baby knows? You begin when he falls down, you pick him up, you show him how to walk, you teach him the good things, and you show him the way. But the minute he begins, don't pull his own pants up. He forgot. Amen. That's right. Yes.
And God said, how do you treat them? How do you love them? Are you grateful for what God has done for you? Are you grateful for what God has been blessing you with? Fun, grateful. Now remember as a little boy, coming from Jamaica, I used to go to a pump house with two little jugs to carry water because we didn't have drinking water. We didn't have running water. We didn't have refrigerators. We didn't have stove on the inside. We cook on the outside. We didn't have McDonald's and KFC. We had to catch the foul, boil the water. I'll put the foam in it. the chicken in the water and then pluck them. And then cut them open and prep them. One pair of shoes. Yes. You use the fork to put it on. All right. It was cold showers at night. No hot water heater. And it was outside in the nighttime. No light. You didn't know if the ghost was coming or yes. the was going. This is where we're coming from. Mm. Bread and butter for dinner. Yes. Chicken back, the best part of the chicken. We never had the old chicken. My God. Jesus. And we ate. Uh, and we prayed the old king. And we married. We prayed the old No water. My God. Yes. Not with me. I got ten pairs of shoes, and I still complain. The AC is too cold. Yes, God. Oh, good God. We got cars we can drive. You remember the donkey? It was going five miles per hour. And now we in traffic. Yes. And the traffic is too. Preach it, brother. My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm going to wrap this up real quick. We are dealing with COVID. And yes, I know. I can agree that it's hot. But there is some church that can't even experience the heat. Yes.
we went for me. <laughs>